it's bittersweet for now, but this is our final DVD unboxing for Action X. And it has to be for the 25th Marvel Studios MCU movie. Hey everyone, Joe here from Action X. Welcome to what... And I almost said my usual intro because it's all the content we've been producing. And welcome to another DVD unboxing. Um, our final one, for many reasons. We'll explain more of this next month. But until then, um, this is our final DVD unboxing for 2021. Um, for this channel. It's crazy how when we started this with Thor to Dark World back in 2013? No, 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 2014. Oh, it wasn't 2014? Yeah, it was 2014. And the fact that we've done every single MCU film since then, it's it's crazy. It really is. It just how time moves by so fast, seven years. Since we did that first one, they kind of like started everything else we've been doing since then, it, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna well, I'm gonna miss it to an extent. You'll, you'll see. You again. It all makes sense next month. But again, here it is. Here, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, the 25th MCU movie, the 20th, 29th, 30th MCU project overall. Because now we have all the Disney Plus shows. I think four of them came out since. It, no, it's not, no, never mind. This is the 29th MCU project. Um, and honestly, again, this is Disney being Disney. This is by far. I have to recheck the Black Widow DVD again, but this is basically the very bottom of the barrel for the whole media collector, so if you're going for this DVD, do not expect much at all. Um, so here we have the poster of the movie. They're just reusing the poster from the movie. What else is new? I will say I love this poster so much. You get the Ten Rings in the background, you get um, all the five core characters, um, and then also the epic battle between Shang-Chi and Wenwu. Which is honestly, again, Shang Chi is Shang Chi is very high up there on my list. It really is. Um, but before we continue to that, here we have the usual side profile with the logo. I think they reused the color font or, or similar color font to another MCU movie. It looks familiar. In the back, which is literally, yeah, the very simple one sentence synopsis. With this, the origin of a new MCU superhero. The one of the images from the bus fight, and then um, Shang Chi as a kid with his mom before stuff happens. Uh, we look inside as per usual for the last time. You have your codes. You have the standard gray disc with the logo. Nothing much said, and I'm gonna see if I can just recenter it before I lose the focus. This is not staying still. This is. The one thing the DVDs have never been able to work with me is standing still on its own. There we go. You have to be lucky sometimes. It's a little off-center, David. There you go. So, um, review-wise, Shang-Chi was one of those films I, I really um, was just more at the time wanted to get through because obviously many people know me um i love spider-man so much so obviously this was just one of the many things i have to get out of the way before um uh, spider-man no way home coming out in less than three weeks at this point so when that was announced and then all the rumors okay so for me it was like okay i go for black but i gotta go for shang chi and then i have to go for Eternals, and then we'll get to spider-man and then of course the disney plus shows were all supplemental content so when i went to shang chi and when i finally got to see the first trailer i was like whoa this is something I wasn't expecting. I, I, I really didn't because um, I really did enjoyed it. I really did. I, I really liked this movie. I, I like it a lot. This was probably the biggest um, gathering of my friends we've so, we seen for a movie, I believe, um, all year. I think we had a grand total of eight people seeing Shang-Chi with us. And honestly, it was worth it. It really was because you just have all these characters and you just want to get a brand new corner in the MCU. And it worked. It really much did. I, I never had, I barely have a complaint. One Wu is probably one of the best MCU villains, one of the, definitely the best villains since post um, Endgame. And all the cast members are, in, are wonderful. I won't spoil the film at all, of course, but some of the surprises you get from this movie is honestly something that I wasn't expecting going in, because literally I, ha I had little to no expectations on this film. I knew Marvel was gonna was gonna do another great film i just didn't know how great it was gonna be um simu lu amazing you know new addition to the larger mcu world as the newest hero again wait to see more of him down the line whether that is in 
in the sequel, which I, you're very much assuming you're going to get a sequel at some point in the future, um, whether that is going to be an Avengers film or a, a cameo somewhere down the line, I cannot wait to see these characters again, every one of them. This world is just so rich and teeming with possibilities and endless um, directions you could take it, because, like, yeah, this was really just a small sample. We've waited so long to get to this myth mythological side of the MCU with the Ten Rings, and it took, took us so long to get here that now that we're here, it's definitely the floodgates are open to so many different directions that you could take this series, whether that is just the Shang-Chi films or whether or not it will do the, the typical Disney Plus spinoff. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um, but no, I really love Shang-Chi. I think it's, it's not in my top 10 for sure, but it's definitely in the top 15. I have to double check the list because there's been so many MCU projects by this point. We have like, what, 31 of them now with Hawkeye's release currently? Well, 32 with What If. No, wait, the 31, yeah. So, it's it's up there. It's on the, it's on the higher t tier tier. So I can't wait to rewatch it again at some point in the future for any sort of reason. Otherwise, I would highly recommend Shang Chi to be picked up for your collection. Because if you are already an MCU collector or you just want to you know collect cool films, this is definitely one for you. Um, currently, right now, you can get Shang Chi on B Target. I'm not sure about Best Buy because my Best Buy has sucked horrendously on DVDs. Uh, you could get Blu-rays there but if you're only looking for dvds target is your best bid 1999 as always very bare bones don't expect much it's just the movie you're basically spending 20 bucks for the movie no more special features but if you do have disney plus there's a documentary um around shang chi which i'm like i re i love that documentary so much i can't wait to rewatch it again at some point in the future when my, my watch schedule isn't that crazy um but yeah that was at 25 films well we didn't unbox all 25 films we unbox 18 but that's still a good number and um, yeah, so I think that's going to do it for me today, everyone. So if you're unaware, this has been what this has been, um, Joe from DVD Unboxings here, brought to you by Action X. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this journey so far. Um, I won't say much about what's coming next, but I will say that um, toodaloo to this format. But until then, um, stay safe out there, be good to each other, go collect Shang-Chi, and until then, peace out.